Hey there, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to the channel, we do both done for you and DIY website design and all manner of online business systems, working in both Squarespace and WordPress. Uh, of course, on YouTube, we're all about the DIY. So today I have a very quick tutorial showing you how to export your MailChimp audience. You may be doing this just because you want your data in a spreadsheet to be able to review it more easily, or perhaps you're moving platforms. So I'll go ahead and take you over my shoulder and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll come up here into one of my clients, MailChimp's accounts. Um, we want to be looking at the audiences that we have. Um, so make sure that you're on whatever audience you want to be exporting. And again, you'll toggle between those here if you have more than one. From there, you need to go to all contacts over here in the left-hand dashboard, or menu, I should say. And this will bring up the contacts. They'll be blurred out here. So yours will be showing, these will be blurred out um, so that you can't view these email addresses. And here, what you need to do is go to the toggle columns. And here is where you will basically say what you don't want to have included. So birthdays, we don't need. Address, we don't need. Phone number, we don't need. Just first name, last name, email. So we're going to save. And then we're going to export the audience. And just once you hit that button, um, now you're basically done. The export has started. It'll email you once it's completed. Um, and you'll also be able to download it from your, uh, your settings. So if we come here, settings, where is it? Oh, sorry. It's right here. <laughs> Once you're here, you'll see here, there's no exports. Once we have an export, it'll show up here. So that's very quickly how to export your audience. Um, and then you'll be able to ex um, import that spreadsheet if you need to, or just be able to review it. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to drop a like. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel to be notified when there are new DIY tutorials. Thanks.